and talk about the concept of a software-defined perimeter and what makes it a so important revolutionary approach to organizational network architectures and how it addresses the most fundamental challenge of providing control and secure access. Decades ago, things were much simpler. Organizational assets such as applications, databases, files and services could only be accessed from the inside as employees worked primarily from the office, either by using their workstations or by plugging in their corporate issued laptops. All the resources were kept behind a closed firewall on the internal network and therefore kept secure. Today, however, things are more complex. For one thing, organizational networks are dispersed across multiple geographic locations, data center, and cloud infrastructure. So we have multiple network perimeters. On top of that, employees don't exclusively work from the office anymore, so they need remote access to corporate resources from anywhere. And finally, we're not talking just about employees anymore. The number of constituents that need access to assets inside the corporate network has dramatically grown in a global business environment, and now includes business partners, supply chain, service provider, connected devices, APIs, and more. So how do we provide external access? That's a question with many possible answers, but they all have the same thing in common. It doesn't matter whether you're using a VPN, a reverse proxy, a web portal, a WAF, a virtual desktop environment, or even an IEM solution. At the end of the day, you're forced to compromise your perimeter by opening a port on your firewall to those services, making the organization visible online and a potential target for attacks, while hoping that the access solution you're using will be able to stop those unwelcome inbound connections and that it's not in itself vulnerable to be circumvented. This is called an access first authentication later model. By the time a user gets prompted with any kind of authentication, they're already connected to your network. I want you to ask yourself, what can random people online know about your organization before telling you anything about them? All they have to do is run a discovery session, do a port scan, and they can easily see. Are you running a VPN service? What protocol and what version? What type of authentication are you deploying? Are you utilizing an IAM solution? Do you have web servers in your DMZ? Are those Apache? Are those IIS? Any SFTP servers? Hackers build an attack profile this way and they can use that information to either hack their way in or just use it to launch a DDoS attack on whatever entry point they find. A software-defined perimeter, or SDP, turns the model around, making it authentication first, access later. Instead of having a human-defined perimeter that has static open ports leading to various access solutions, we actually want to close everything down and by default not accept any inbound traffic from anyone. By doing so, the organization becomes invisible online, not publishing any services or making information available to hackers. Users that need access would have to authenticate first at a public offsite location that's not a part of the corporate network. Only after doing so, access will be granted and a port will be dynamically opened by software. And unlike a traditional open port, this one will be specific to that user from that location at that specific time and to that specific destination while the organization remains hidden, seemingly offline to the rest of the world. By the time a network packet is accepted to the corporate network, we already know it's legitimate and authenticated. I invite you to discover how it works and to learn more about how easy it is to achieve a software-defined perimeter using safety's patented technology in my next video. Thank you for watching.